<laughs> hmm? What the? Hmm? What the? There's a... There's a... There's a thing! There's a... What is it? It's... 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 Huh? What the? Huh. Okay. Hello everybody, Hirio here, and I'm doing a mod review on uh, the Mario mod, which is why I stole his clothes and killed him. Um, yes, that's that's fair. Uh, we're doing it in the uh, wonderful house that Corrales built again. He uh, publicized it and built it. I even watched the live stream. Yeah. So uh, today we are going to go up to the house, but we're going to take a different route. We're going to take the plane. I know we're not going to take the board tube, because that's more Mario-like, isn't it? There we go. And uh, yeah, my miners have been working very literally. Uh, I think I should feed them more often. And uh, I think this guy found it, didn't you? <laughs> Congratulations! You get to eat tonight. Now which one of your children do you hate the most? Yeah, he doesn't... He's not replying for reasons, because, you know, he can't afford kids. Um, we buried Jimmy in a in the sand. Um, <laughs> we couldn't be asked to bury him, you know. Um, it's a standard work procedure, you know. You just don't lift the body; you just cover it in cement and make sure it's never seen again. Usually, you don't put a sign, but who the fuck's gonna see it? Um, <laughs> Today we are doing the, uh, yeah, we're doing the Mario mod, and uh, the first thing always is the first thing is, uh, is there a card down there, is a card down there, uh, recipes, because we all love recipes. Uh, the first thing is uh, ground block, which is nine stone, and you get eight, which is okay. Uh, the ground block is exactly like it is in the game, so I can hit my head on it and break it, but... You know, I can't do it right now, but I'll show you why in a few. The next thing is brick block, which is four bricks in this pattern, and you get 16. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Oh well. Um, next one is decorative block, which is all any type of wood. You can do all the woods in the world if you really wanted to. And you get four. Huh. Huh. And the next one's in furnaces. Uh, if you cook a ground brick block, you get an underground brick block. If you cook a brick block, you get underground brick block. And I meant ground block, block and ground block, whatever. If you cook a decorative block, you get a decorative block. And if you cook a underground brick block, you get a castle brick block. Which, I know that's kind of just popped out of nowhere, but I'm following the uh, the recipes on the forums. And the next, uh, next set of recipes is underwater ground brick, which doesn't need to be put underground, it's just there. I don't, I don't know where that is in the games, I don't remember seeing it anywhere. But it's there. And the plant, which can actually be placed anywhere, and actually creates an air bubble so doesn't create one like pops up anywhere but the it doesn't it does it doesn't let water pass through it which is uh if you're making a venture map is pretty stupid to use and I just I don't like putting that anywhere it's basically just two um, sugar cane and the snow ground block which again is pretty much exactly the same as the other one just different colors which I will show you how to break later. Um, castle brick block is just the four of the brick block that's in that furnace that I showed you earlier, which I just broke. You don't realize how goddamn hard that was to get in there. Oh, if you're wondering, this is 1.4.7 because I can't be a stop date. 
Next things are invisible. No, no, not invisible. They're the um, question mark blocks. Um, it's pretty much just gold around any of the three brick blocks. Up to you which ones you do. And the fourth one here is the invisible block, which is the only one that doesn't require a block. Um, it only goes invisible when there's an item in it. So if you, say, put in coins or pretty much any Mario-based item that you can usually find with inside them. Uh, this one is the cloud block, which has no special properties as I know of. I don't remember what it did in the game. I don't really care. Um, <laughs> I'm more of a Sonic fan. Uh, the next thing is a warp tube pipe. Now you only really need the entrance, but uh, this one can be used for decoration. I don't don't know why. And if uh, hello, and uh, if I show you over here, if I don't lag, if you write uh, when you place it down, you will um, always place it down in the bottom left corner, no matter which way you're facing. If I was standing here and place it down, it go there. Here it would be there. It doesn't really matter. You can actually end up clipping walls and stuff like that. I uh, don't think it works if you do that. If you right click it, you get this uh, little HUD, diff HUD and you can set the channel to uh, change the channel number. But uh, 1 is what I've got outside so I'm going to keep it at 1. And then you just stand over and shift. I stand in the middle and shift and it uh, warps you just how you expect it to. And it plays a little sound effect, which is quite nice. I, I like the sound effects, I have to admit. Not a lot of mods do sound effects. But uh, once I get out of this hole, I will show you the rest. Um, yeah, but that's the warp tube and stuff. The next thing is the trampoline, which I haven't actually set up an area to show this off. So I'll just show it off here. Hi, orbs. If you don't know him, he's from the um, Downfall series that I've got going. Um, yeah, it just it just jumps you up about five or six blocks. I'm not really sure. I know the house is five blocks, so this is about eight blocks to jump you. I think it might be about eight blocks. Hi, Lilith. Um, yeah, so jumps you eight blocks. That's I don't know if it gives you any full damage because I can't be asked going to survival mode to show you. I will have to go there in a minute, but yeah. Um, the next thing is a dropped based item. Now, if you kill a Goomba, which I'll show you later at some point. You know, it's probably better to show you now. If I um quickly go upstairs, well, I have a few of them set up based on this... Uh, I'm going to lag here. Oh, I need to uh, be uneasy. And it's not working. It's, it's not working. Why is it not working? The one time I want you to work and you do not decide to work. God damn it. Uh, there are Coopers, which are like dumb as doornails in this mod. Um, you can jump on them with the special equipment which I haven't shown you yet uh, and they drop Cuba shells which is okay I guess I think that's all they drop I don't remember if there was another one uh, we can check later when I really want to which I won't you guys can check on, on your own time I'm not going to check uh, yeah you can jump on them but it does take two or three hits and they do have seem to have a lot of health if you try to punch them this one's the Goomba, which again is as dumb as a doornail in this one. Um, which is strange, because I saw a video on Paper Mario, and these guys aren't as dumb as they seem. I mean, come on. I know they're, I know they're just walking mushrooms, but please. This guy is a water guy. He's a fish who um, doesn't seem to move except for jump on ground. Um, yeah, he's just, he's just, yeah. Um, next one's a boo. Now, to me, that's just a square with a face. It's a square with a face. It's just nothing else. And that fish just drowned. Because the fish can drown. Bomb uh, bomb. Bomb bomb will explode if you um, aggro it. Or if you do that. And if you, uh, if you destroy it, you will get this. And you can throw it. And it's like a hand grenade. 
shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Um, I need to get the carpenter in anyway. A few more holes won't do anything different. Um, but yeah, you can throw them. Which I was actually going to show later, but whatever. Uh, the bullet bill, they do not do anything at the moment. They just seem to sit there and turn. That's all they seem to do. They don't go up or down. They don't go after you. Fire them from a cannon. They do nothing. They just sit there and look pretty. They don't explode at all. I was hoping for the explosions, to be honest. And that will be all the mobs you get in the game. Unfortunately, you can't find Mario or Luigi or the Princess. I would have loved to have seen somebody um, attempt to add Bowser, even if he was just a guy that walks around. It would be nice to see him in the game. In the mod. But, yeah. So if you kill Goombas, you'll get Goomba Fangs, and they and if you put four of them in the thingy, you'll get an ivy, I, uh, ivory, base ore, and you can use this to craft any of the normal tools that you wish. Um, you can also use any of the normal ores to craft a ivory, um, not an ivory, a hammer, which is also built out of ivory here because it's the only unique one. Now a hammer in survival mode is required to um, pick up the blocks. If I get Ivany pickaxe as well and I head over into survival because I'm cool like that and I place this block oh no I placed two! I actually did that on purpose but no I didn't actually do that on purpose if I try to break it with a pickaxe you'll see it's taken a very long time <sighs> go make a cup of tea. I'll I'll be here. I'll be here for a while. Just go make a cup of tea. And um There. See? Didn't even get the block back. I don't know how um powerful this Ivany pickaxe is, but it doesn't seem to do any damage. Uh now if I use the hammer Much faster and I get the block back. You need to use hammers if you're uh if you want the blocks. That's just a, uh, but you can make it out of any type, even wood, if you want to. Next things are the mushrooms. Now, the mushrooms are special in their own ways. Um, the super mushroom uh, will heal half your hearts if you, uh, say, if you, uh, say, starve to death. It will heal half of all your hearts. It um just waiting to starve now. Hello Liv. Seen her a lot today. Orb doesn't seem to be doing anything. But uh yeah, it will heal um five hearts of health. Let me just break some more of my legs so you can see. Alright, so I'm down to three hearts. If I if this heals five hearts of health, it um plays a cool little sound effect and put me up to eight hearts and I'm starving again because I don't have any food. But um the super one up heals all your hearts, all twenty. Uh I don't think it does any more than twenty, so it doesn't give you a boost, I don't think. But um if I starve here again and I jump off you know, some two out of half hearts, and if I eat it, max life, health, drug. Yes, this just single player commands. Yes. So yeah, the next thing is the flame flower. Here I've used oak leaves, but I'm not sure what leaves you have to use, which is a slight problem. The flame flower throws little fireballs, which is quite nice, especially when you're trying to murder everybody. Uh, that slave's gonna die. Uh, let's see if orbs can take it. Nope, orbs can't take it. Um, it does have a durability, which is kind of a downside, but fair, I guess. Uh, don't worry about orbs, he can regenerate. Um, if uh, It doesn't set things alight, which is a shame. And shut up! Oh, he died. Don't worry, he'll be back in a sec. Yeah, it does have durability. 
If you do have too many items, you can spawn an infinite one, which is quite nice. See, told you he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, you do, in fact, lose them. Uh, this is the bomb bomb. You can actually craft these if you want to. They do exactly the same things as what I showed you, but they do pretty much just explode. You can't place them down and have them as usable mobs. They will just explode and blop everything. So they're just hand grenades, okay? Uh, don't think of them as anything else. They're just hand grenades. I'm doing your job for you! Hero shouldn't be doing this job. Hero should be saving the princess and getting laid. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's all the crafting recipes for them. There is uh, a Starman suit, which is uh, is probably my favourite favorite power-up from any mod I've reviewed so far. Because if you, uh, uh, say, let's say, um... I spawned in way too many creepers. Um, oh yeah, I'm in survival. Totally forgot that I was in survival. Um, <laughs> yeah, totally forgot I was in survival. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> and Orbs died again. Oh, he's looking like he's alive. He's alive, sort of. Um, let's not go with creepers then. Let's go with uh, all the zombies. I spawned in way too many zombies. Now, if I use the Starman power up. Wow, that was good timing. Um, yeah, you basically just destroy everything in sight and it's all thanks to the magic hat I'm wearing on my head yes no it isn't <laughs> um, but yeah that is the Starman suit or oh, power up it's a wonderful nice little power up kinda wish it would last forever but the best things don't the next thing is a power bar <coughs> oh god which again I could actually use some zombies for um, it will destroy anything as if an, it was a explosion that only affects um, as if it was an explosion that only affects mobs so if I use it now see again it has a durability and you only get to use it five times which is kind of a sad thing But other than that, it is a nice little tool to uh, take to the uh, the meetings that you have with all your friends, just so you can blow the bastards up. Be an evil bastard. I'm not even sure if this mod is multiplayer compatible, but yeah. The next thing is a furnace base item. If you cook a gold bar, you get eight little gold coins, which are nice, but yeah. Uh, I don't think these actually have anything in them, no. No, they don't. Uh, so yeah, you cook them, you get eight little gold coins, and then you can craft those coins to get more coins. Five gold coins gives you one red coin, five, which is actually just five coins, and red coins give you a blue coin, which is 20 coins, and a hat shaped based of 20 coins gives you a well, one-up mushroom. Why so goddamn expensive? I won't know, but still, it's quite nice to have. Um, I think that's it. Nope, nope, no, it's the Mario suit next, and shell suit, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the next thing is a Mario base suit, which you need for everything. Uh, Mario's cap is the easiest to get, and the, one of the most essential. Uh, the next one is uh, Mario's cape, which is quite easy to get, and is uh, pretty much a bonus item. I think this one's actually least the most least important item yet it's one of the easiest ones to make so I feel a balancing issue needs to be because this is way overpowered um, this one is so you don't take full damage the Mario jumpsuit and Mario's boots are what allow you to stomp on people's heads 
Uh, you can even do that with vanilla mobs, like creepers and other mobs. So let me just put the suit on. I'm putting a Mario suit on top of a Mario suit. Wow. Um, all those blocks that I showed you earlier that are within this mod are actually upstairs. Now you may or may or not have seen them. They are all here. Every single one. Now the ones that can be broken, if you just jump with this on. This one doesn't seem to be breakable. I don't think it is then. Um, but, yep, they do break. They even get a sound effect. So this one isn't breakable. So that's kind of uh, annoying. Uh, cloud blocks I know aren't breakable. And I just jumped way high. Way higher than I wanted to. Um, this one is not breakable. I know that's not. That's not breakable. That's breakable. I know that's breakable. Uh, and it dropped a coin. That's uh, that's random, by the way. You can't control if it drops a coin or not. It is completely random. Um, this one is not breakable. Not breakable, I believe. Yes, yeah, not breakable. Uh, breakable. And it dropped a red coin. Oh, wow. I've never got a red coin from these things. Um, then is the four blocks. Now, you may be wondering why I said four. <laughs> But uh, the invisible block is there. If you can see the black outline, don't know if you can because the quality is going to be shit. But that is the fourth block, and they all do the same thing. Uh, they all drop uh, items. They always drop items. And like I said, you can personally put items in them if you want. If I want to put the invisible block, look, look, five coins inside. Pops out, and five coins should be on the floor. It's, um,. Yeah, so that's the basics of the Mario hat. You need the Mario hat to do that. I uh, don't know why you can't do Luigi. Um, you know, just add some green dye to it, or make it out of green wool. Um, the cape allows you to fly. Um, if you double t if you double tap the jump button, you will start to fly. And um, if you hold the jump button, you'll fly for even longer. I think. Oh, no, okay, you don't need to. Um, basically, w holding space allows you to change your height, and it's only for an extremely short amount of time. The um, the uh, the uh, the uh, trousers prevent you from taking full damage. As you can see, it went down from sixty nine to sixty eight, and the boots allow you to stomp on people's heads. See, I just killed orbs. Um, yeah, it does work with vanilla mobs, usually it doesn't kill them instantly, like it did orbs there, but, um, it does take three or four hits to kill a spider. Hey, Lilith. Uh, after this review. But, um, yeah, I did actually have this set up so I could show you each of the mobs separately, but then they despawned. So <laughs> that's kind of, uh, stupidity part on my thing. And I was burning. Anyway, this is the Mario mod. I can't think of anything else I may have or may not have missed. Uh, oh, this armor. Yeah, this armor is pretty much just a shell-based armor. And I never showed off the shell, did I? Uh, the shell is just a shell. It just It's literally just a Koomba shell from the game. Think, um, Think of Mario Galaxy. That's the type of shell you're on about, except you don't, uh... And it does it does stop if you get in the way of it, which is kind of a bug. I kind of wanted it to damage me. Unless I had my shorts on, and then it could just bounce off. Um, but anyway, yeah. That was the Mario... This is the Mario mod. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe. And I need to do something before this ends. And, oh, yeah, I, didn't, I forgot something, yeah. You can actually jump considerably higher with, with um, all your stuff on. This is a two block jump. You can jump way past that. Three block jump, you can jump way past that. You can actually jump four blocks. And I'll prove it here by this being a five block, and you can get nowhere near the top of that. Unless you uh, decide to fly, because you can. Why fly? Because I can. Um, <laughs> yeah, but this is the end of this mod review. Thank you for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe. 
and to see any of the other mods, including the Sonic mod, which this is a rival of, um, it's on the screen right now. I rate this mod a 10 out of 10 purely for being way, way, way good. And that I gave the Sonic one a 10 out of 10, and that is nowhere near as good as this one. Uh, unfortunately, because I am more of a Sonic fan than I am a Mario fan. Uh, but it would be biased to me to say this one's bad, because it's actually pretty good. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you do comment, I'll most likely get back to you. Depends on how many comments there are, which there probably isn't that many. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. I've said thank you so much, haven't I? Hey guys, I'm back. There, oh wow, that's just uh, terrible timing. I'm back. I totally forgot to mention you can find all the mobs and the star bo and the question mark boxes around the map. There is also a structure which I cannot be asked to go find. It's basically a castle based structure from the first Mario games at the end of the uh, finish point, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, they are findable anywhere in unloaded chunks and where creepers don't die. Um, but yeah, there are the, they're everywhere, they just spawn anywhere. Because uh, I noticed some were spawning underneath my house right after I finished the mod review. Um, look, bonbons! Yay! And he didn't drop a goddamn shell. Anyway, I'm in True Nightmare. Thank you for watching. Bye!